Hi everyone, I'm Ray Crawford and our spring spotlight focuses on the Florida Gators who continue to put in the work that will ultimately get them back into contention in the SEC. One of the many players they'll count on to help them do that is senior defensive tackle Leon Orr. And Leon, before we talk about the team, you had off-season wrist surgery, missed the entire spring. How's the wrist and how eager are you to get back to playing? The wrist is good right now. I got it, you know what I'm saying, cast it up, double protection. But um, I'm going to get the, uh, the cast off pretty soon. May 1st, I'm going to be good to go. Green light on everything. So everything's progressing like I need it to right now. Four wins for the Gators last season. No bowl game for the first time in 23 years. Is it a season that motivates this team or something you just try to put behind you uh, completely out of your mind and forget about? It's a, it's a little bit of both, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't dwell on the past for too long, but at the same time, the past ain't going nowhere. So that four and eight is something that we carry with us and something that we we definitely use to motivate us as a team because like you said no bowl game after 23 years like it just don't happen and me going into my last year i can't let something like that happen again you're from florida and certainly have friends who play at florida state how difficult was it to see your biggest rival win the national title i mean i don't really have friends that play at florida state i don't have any kind of florida state friends honestly but it was a very difficult thing to watch them play and, you know what I'm saying, be out there doing what I want to do. So it happens, though. Not everybody can win at the time. It's not everybody every year, but it's going to be one of those things where we're going to be hungry this year and we're going to be in that same position. So we want fans out there. Part of this is to let them get to know you a little bit better. So I'm going to ask you a question here. So if your life was made into a movie, would it be a drama, a horror movie, an action flick, or a comedy? Mm. I feel like it'd be like a sci-fi trilogy, honestly. Like some Twilight type stuff. <laughs> I love it. You, you pull the sci-fi out of left field. This is awesome. So, so, then, then, so why would it be uh, a science fiction flick? It's unbelievable, man. You know, a guy like me to come from where I come from, you'll never think I'd be where I'm at right now, sitting in this chair having a webcam conversation with Campus Insiders. It's some uh, alien type stuff, some UFO type stuff. So that's why I say that. All right. So who's your favorite rap artist? Um, my favorite rap artist right now, I think I don't have a favorite rap artist. Honestly, I do music as a hobby. So I listen to myself a lot and try to fine tune my sound. So my favorite artist is me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lafayette, the God. All right, so give us now. Now you've now you've teased us here. So Leon, give us give us a rap here. Bust out a rhyme for us. Okay, I don't really freestyle, but uh, I kick around for the haters doing interviews. You know we the Florida Gators. We be on the grind trying to stack up the paper. You could get it now or you could get it later. You know, it's just a little something, nothing crazy, just a little simple. I mean, you got you got to love the way you improvise. That is unbelievable. It's freestyle, baby. I give it to you how you want it, man. I think you've got a bright future on and off the football field. Leon Orr, thanks very much for joining us. Great to chat with you. Enjoy your summer and good luck next season. All right. Shout out to Campus Insiders, man. I love y'all. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we love you right back, big fella. For more of our Spring Spotlight series, be sure to check out the videos on CampusInsiders.com. I'm Ray Crawford. Thanks for watching.